we could just stay here all night, I guess. Yeah. I want to welcome out our good friend, Mr. John Foreman. This dude. Absolute powerhouse, the sweetest man I know. And we've gotten to do this a couple times together, which is insane. Yes. This right here, right here, y'all. Do you feel this? I've got to say this. I've said it a million times, so y'all, y'all, y'all just have to uh, grin and bear it, I guess. But when I was 15 or 16, a record called Legend of Chin came out. And honestly, I know how first records feel. I don't know if you feel great about it still or not. But we don't feel great about our first record either. But for me, at 15 years old, it changed my life. And it's the reason I'm playing music right now. And I could not be more thankful was their first record. And he was kind enough, I called him. Sometime during the pandemic, I think, I was like, hey man, could, if we did a song together, could it sound something like this? I played him like literally two pieces of it. He called me back in 20 minutes, it was all written. <laughs> I was, they, they, the truth is, they had just opened up the beaches. And, and like, and I was on my way to, to go surfing for like, yeah, second time in months. I, was, I had some like, something to get off my chest, you know? And, and I was like, man, this is a, uh, this, I think this right here, though, playing it at Red Rocks, is like, maybe we wrote a song together, but if we play it here, then it, it might have actually happened. We did, we did something. We got a small bet. $20 between me and John if we can get all the lyrics right, but we'll see what happens. I can't know which side of the bet I'm on. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come to the edge of these seas.